folks, this is Alex with Cooking Alex, the irreverent, but not necessarily irrelevant, YouTube cooking show. Hey, today we're going to be talking about steaming. Uh, I try not to get too angry too, too often, so the type of steaming I'm talking about, of course, is cooking. Um, about three weeks ago, I picked up a just an a, a inexpensive steaming device at a local uh, uh, Salvation Army. And it has worked wonders on my diet. Um, now, you had to be thinking already about uh, changing your diet, and that's what I've been doing. Um, I've been meeting with uh, uh, a, a local woman named Deborah Utenreiter, who uh, has a website. Excuse me for a minute. A uh, website called um, uh, LifeFuelHealthCoaching.com. LifeFuelHealthCoaching.com. Uh, so Deborah's met with me a couple times and been talking to me about um, diet and what my diet is and what my health issues are and things like that. Um, she's turned me on to a couple of uh, products. This is Super Green Formula and a raw protein mix. But you know, in addition to supplements uh, and also some uh, uh, some uh, omega-3 fish oil stuff and some uh, raw uh, protein or not protein but raw um, supplements. Anyways, uh, but in addition to these things, I need to alter my diet in, in total. Um, so what I've been doing is do, been doing a lot, of, a lot of rice, a lot of quinoa, um, a lot of vegetables. Uh, this past week I uh, uh, used a couple of big beets, uh, just, just beets with no uh, spices or anything. A lot of people might like spices, but I tend to like the flavor of the vegetables. Um, so with the steaming, I do the rice, I do the, um, I do some of the, uh, uh, use black lentils, um, and the basmati rice, a couple of different types of rice and things like that. Um, but, uh, here, let me pan you over here to the things that I've done recently. Um, here we have, uh, um, this morning I did, in about six minutes or so, uh, red onion. Um, and this red onion started out, of course, started as life, like, where is that thing? Like this thing here. Uh, so I chopped it up and uh, chopped up and steamed. It is a really nice consistency, very yummy, very easy to eat, uh, straight, straight out of the dish. Um, and then in addition to the red onion, uh, I cut up a bunch of broccoli. And of course the broccoli, uh, most people are familiar with the uh, florets, which I have yet to um, uh, cook up yet. Uh, but they're still in the sink waiting. They're steaming. But I took the stems and chopped them up and, and steamed them in about uh, uh, six or seven minutes. And uh, they came out very nice, soft, and edible. Um, Somebody commented on my Facebook page, uh, uh, fiber, and they are, lots of fiber, uh, very good. Um, so those are going to be parts of uh, lunches for uh, this next week, along with the black lentils and the, uh, the other vegetables and stuff. And I have some potatoes and uh, peppers in the uh, sink ready to go. Um, what I've been doing most recently is the, uh, down here, I'm going to zoom in on my little steaming station. Unplug it and knock out the water. You want to be careful right after unplugging it because it's going to be very uh, steamy, very hot. Uh, but this has been sitting actually for a couple minutes. And this is actually a mixture of uh, French chard or Swiss chard, yeah, Swiss chard, and kale. Um, so I, I just let that steam for a number of minutes. Uh, let me see how the zoom is looking here. Um, let me zoom that a little bit. And so that, that's still pretty hot, but, uh, ouch. Um, but very limp, and now probably, uh, let's test this for our YouTube audience. Very nice and soft. Mmm, yum. That's the chard. And that would be the kale. Wow. Wow, that's really good. 
So that, that's the uh, that's the product, the results of the steaming, um, and that's uh, and that I think that was about ten minutes. I just uh, went up and did some other uh, chores in the house uh, while that steamed, and uh, uh, after a little while, it turned off by itself, um, and really good. Um, so uh, so again, this is uh, Alex with uh, pan this over to the sitting area. So again, this is Alex with Cooking Alex, uh, just uh, giving a little info on uh, steaming vegetables and rices and other things. Uh, it's really, I've been getting into cooking a little bit with, of course, uh, you've seen the previous shows with the uh, skillet or with the, uh, uh, with the pot boiling things or sauteing things. Um, now I get a lot of flack about how it's not really sauteing if you're not using oil, because I tend to use water a lot. Um, but that way you don't, you're not adding oil to your diet. And for me, I'm not, I don't have heart disease, but I don't want to be told in 20 years, Alex, you have heart disease. Um, so I'm trying to offset that 20 years early. Uh, and uh, you can do that too. You can do the same thing in your life uh, as well. Just uh, begin thinking sensibly. And uh, who was it? I think Isaac Asimov said one of the greatest leaps humani humanity can take. Uh, it was either Asimov or Einstein. Uh, would be to switch over to a vegetarian diet. Um, and that seems to be, I mean, it, it seems sensible. Um, th there's a lot of people out there who uh, like their meat and stuff like that, but uh, I I'm really not feeling uh, a lot of meat craving. Um, anyways, uh, so again, this is Alex with Cooking Alex and talking about steaming. Have a great day.